Hi everyone, my name is Elsa Sanchez and I'm an Adobe consultant here at the University of Arizona. And today we're going to talk about Behance, what it is and how it works. So at the beginning we get this screen and we have to click on the topics that we like. So for example, I like illustration, photography, fine arts, game design, and I like motion. So we're gonna see my custom feed. And this is basically our For You page, so all the things that are related to those topics. And we see that we're signed in with an enterprise ID, which means that we are signed in with our CAD ID. So we're gonna click Confirm. Now that we've signed in, we can see our For You page, which is built based on the things that we liked at the beginning. And as we go, for example, in our discovery page, we can see all the art displayed by the curators of Behance. Let's say I like this one and that would go ahead and translate into the For You page. Behance works very similar to, for example, Instagram, where you can hashtag or tag um, specific characteristics of your post. So if someone used um, Procreate, to create this and we look for designs specifically made in Procreate, we can go ahead and search Procreate. And as you can see, the one that we like pops up as well as other designs. We can also search by the projects, people and collections. And if we go back, we can see curated galleries and this is just um specific types of media so graphic design since we liked it at the beginning um we already follow it but you can go ahead and follow other galleries for example follow the motion gallery and such um live is just live streams that adobe has done um tutorials and such and you can search specific live streams slash tutorials, illustration, Photoshop, and you can go ahead and select any of them. Profile can be customized. Um, as you can see, I already got a posting already up and I'll explain in a bit how to create a project. But um, we can add a banner, we can add a profile picture, we can um, share work in progress. This is just basically um, like a story. So, it lasts up to like 24 hours and people can click on your profile picture and see what you've done or what you're currently doing. Um, edit your profile, you can again customize however you'd like your page to look like. Collections, this is just um, folders that can be done. So if we go into our For You page, we can see something that we like and we can add to collection and we can add it or we can create a new collection. For example, we can go ahead and add to collection. Let's say I don't want this in the same folder, create new collection. Okay, and then select that one, save. And I believe you can select multiple at a time. And if we go back to our profile, appreciations, this is just the art pieces that we liked. Insights, this is just statistics, data, people that has viewed our profile, profiles and art pieces that we've seen, likes. So next up is jobs. So it's pretty straightforward. If you click on a job and you click apply to join, it will guide you to their application form and you can specify where you're at, the city, specific fields, um, different types of jobs, like if you want full-time freelance internship and such. And one of the good things of customizing our profile is that we can add kind of like what we're currently doing, the company that we work for, we can join teams, um, 
kind of like an about me page and then you can add a work experience web references like if you have a different page for your portfolio you can add that as well so save this is just applications that we've saved and how we save jobs is just we scroll over to the job and then we pin it and then that will translate into our save jobs applied if you apply to a job then it will be saved in applied so finally creating a project we are gonna scroll over it on top of this create a project button and then it would lead us to here okay so now that we are creating our project we're gonna go ahead and add some text and to add more media we're gonna go ahead and select which one we want so i'm gonna create a grid and i'm gonna start uploading some of my art pieces and i'm gonna edit the grid and add more photos you can also change the order of your grid and let's say i want to add more text and then i'm gonna add kind of like the final art piece and as you can see there's some arrows facing each other and what this will do is like it says give the image some breathing room which i kind of prefer we can also start editing how our post is looking so edit styles and layout and you can edit the spacing add dividers change the background color we can also upload an image for our background but in this case i'm just going to stick to a solid color so to edit the type of text that we're working with we can go ahead and select the text so double click and we can go ahead and select which one is which so in this case the top text would be the header and we can also edit the font the size and all the other characteristics that can be manipulated within this box and i'm gonna save and i'm gonna continue and this just gives you kind of like a preview again of how it will look select crop and continue and then we can start selecting our creative fields once we're done with the basic info we're gonna go ahead and edit the display and in this case i'm gonna leave behance and i'm gonna keep the comments so in discoverability we can add a project description, some keywords, and such. Okay, now that I'm done with adding the keywords, we're gonna publish. So we have created a project. We've seen how Behance works and how to explore. And to summarize, Behance is basically a platform where you can upload your artwork, you can see other people's artwork, you can find jobs and Behance is completely free so you can sign up anytime. For more information visit adobe.arizona.edu and thank you so much for watching.